Fuck. <laughs> Ugh, fix that. Snow on Tuesday. That was cool. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I hope you're right on that. Uh, by the way, we didn't say it in the last part at all, but we are, we are, we do want like more conversations, feedback, likes, dislikes. You know, because we get like none. <laughs> yes. You know, like. I think that's they probably put people to sleep. You know, we're, I, you know, I tried to like, I commented and tried to do, but. I, oh, I, I, I don't know if it's most people aren't logged in, if they just like get caught up in watching the show and they just forget that it's interactive and they can do stuff. I, <laughs> but it's, I mean, we get, it, it, it's literally like three out of every hundred people or less give. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's not, I don't think there's much you can do. I, I, I know, but we, we can ask, we can say, hey, click the buttons. Post stuff, <laughs> but we'll see. I, I, with the, we do get complaints about the other stuff, but we try and we're working on it. That's. What complaints are you getting on? What, what kind of Some of the quality issues because this setup is so hodgepodge. Uh, what, what is quality an issue? It's gonna, I mean, that, that's kind of vanity. Good lord, it should be the content. Well, no, what they complain about most is less the, like, unprofessional quality. Occasionally, the audio gets a little out of hand. And you know, you've know, you noticed that. Like, the audio levels get a little inconsistent because of the autocorrects. Or occasionally, it glitches and goes... Duh, 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 and and it, I salvage it as best I can, but it it does create issues. It's... Because, <laughs> it, 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 like, one person's too loud and they can't hear the other person. It makes it hard to follow the content. I mean that's a va it's a valid complaint. That's. Ugh. All right, so the Apple app. Okay, I guess in a test, Target plans to add an Apple Store inside 25 stores. Pretty cool. And I think that Target is probably paying more. But that you know, Apple Apple's winning more of that deal uh, than Target, and, and I think that Target is using that much to it, uh, and, and one upping. Essentially, Walmart, who is probably one of their largest competitors, at least here in Houston, it's kind of like Target, Walmart. Although Target is, you know, there's a joke kind of it's like Target, it's kind of the upper echelon of, of consumption. Yes, you Walmart. went to Walmart, I went to Target. Exactly, you know, that kind of bull crap goes around. But I think that since, I, I believe, um, I don't, I'm not for sure on that. But, Anyway, I'll go back. Since the, t the stores want to compete, I think that this is a way of Target one up the deal. And I, I, I don't think that Apple has any type of plans of closing their stores uh, or their main stores. That's part of the, the Apple brand now. Apple is, is and, and, it, I, and I'm sorry if it's disrespectful to, to Apple purists, but they've garnered the uh, crown of being cool for now. And while that, okay, but where, where are we? While that lasts, while that lasts, people will go to their stores to go in their stores. Oh, I mean, look at Twitter. Some of them are people like, I'm in the Apple store. They own all kinds of Apple devices. They're not going to not gonna buy any damn thing in there. They just want to be in the damn store. I can't tell you how many times. And it's stuff that I hear. I mean, that's just the thing. Oh, let's just go to the Apple store. Okay. Yeah, it's whatever. Well, uh, uh, here's the reason I throw that out there. Do I think it'll happen anytime soon? No. But those stores have a higher cost to maintain than uh, kiosks and in-store stores like they have in Best Buy and like apparently. Here's a difference. Here's a difference on why I'll say why not. Well, okay. I'll say that there Apple has some protection. And how they've done their stores, other than in the, in, in the malls, the, the malls are a lease, so um, that's kind of a wash. But the big buildings that they build, they own the real estate. They take usually these old buildings, buy the building, own it, convert it, make it better looking, you know, and, and restore it. it. Becomes an Apple store. That's an asset that they, that on the way down becomes something of profit when they want to sell. It's not like losing a lease. And the old day of Apple's, Apple used to be Macs, used to be in Sears and all kinds of places, and you can get very ubiquitous. 
and then it becomes kind of a wash of a brand, and that, that's kind of a danger. But I don't think you have to worry about that anytime soon. Those grandiose stores are, are, are an asset right now, not as much a liability as we think. The mall locations, however, like what we have uh, in the Galleria here in Houston. Well, uh, okay, let, let, let me put it this way. For, for the big grandiose store, you have to pay for the employees to run the big grandiose store. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for the electricity yep. to run the big grandiose store. Mm -hmm. You have to pay the. But they're making a profit right now, though. Right? Uh, 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 right now. Okay, but like you're they saying, they don't make a profit. That owning the real estate, yeah, it pays for itself. Oh, let's just sell it. I mean, you know, but, but you're owning an asset versus saying I'm losing lots of money, I'm losing lots of money. I'm not gonna pay my lease anymore, and then and maybe. You run out of money before your lease runs out, and all kinds of problems. I don't think it's as bad of a problem for, for Apple owning real estate and converting some of these buildings. And things. They're doing it here in Houston. They're actually going to make a glass box here in Houston. Uh, it's coming. You're up. going to go live there, aren't you? You're going to go live in the glass box for a while. No, no I, I don't have much interest um, in Apple products. I mean, Apple is totally mobile. Right now, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I, I have my. I have. As, I, I'm probably going to get two more Macs, but those are. Uh, I'll probably if they have the last gen Mac Pro, I'll probably end up getting that. Yeah, he's going to get the very uh, last Mac Pro. <laughs> yeah, and and my wife will end up getting a MacBook Air. Um, and yeah, I don't. I, I, they'll, they'll stay portable, but. I don't. I'm, I don't see myself needing. Good Lord, my custom bill that just went out was from freaking 2001. This this PC over here running on is from 2006. Uh, this one's from 08. My Mac Pro from 08. So, you know, I, I, I can't keep it a long time. My server back here that's 2004. The Linux box back there is 2003. So. Okay. It'll last me a while. Well, it, it, I, I, I'm just, I, I, I can't help but think, it, here's the thought I have in the back of my head. I realize they own the buildings, and I'm not saying they'd get hurt. They, I, I mean, if it came to it, they'd just sell the buildings, or they'd lease the buildings. They'd stop okay. maintaining stores, they'd lease the buildings and turn them into a revenue stream. Uh, it, it's, uh, so I, I'm not thinking that way. I'm just thinking about once upon a time, there were these brand stores, and then the pendulum shifted, and it became more profitable to have the in-store kiosks than the big store. And I'm, I, I'm just, I don't know. We're post Steve Jobs here with Apple, and it's the next. The, lots of fun notes, sure. Lots yeah, of fun. Basically, the next keynote. And then the one after is very much going to set the tone for can Apple keep the cool thing they've built up? Can they keep that Apple on imagery? Because if they can't, it, they'll hurt their profit margins by keeping those stores. It would make more sense to, to lease them out and just go for oh, the kiosk. That's when they're not making any more money. We have to, what I'm saying is when you're not making any more money, those are assets right now. That's, that's in the positive column, what I'm saying. Versus just a lease where you're not owning the property. So, um, I, I, I never, I don't want to say never, that's wrong. I don't, I don't foresee any time soon Apple going to the point that it was in 95. I do think that Apple's iOS will become uh, marginalized by its competition and um, they won't have a strong hold on markets, but I don't think that they're. They're dying. It's not a zero-sum game at, at this point. Do, do I think Apple's going to die? No. Do I think they're going to become increasingly marginalized over the coming yeah, years? Yeah, of course. Yes. That's, that's, <laughs> I think it's inevitable. But, but people love to liken uh, the mobile wars to the desktop wars. And we had a view, and I made a show on that, that I, I, I clearly stated that it is not the same thing. It's very different set of rules and what's going on now uh, than what it was in the desktop portion. So, you know, I, I don't see it happening the same way. But now, hey, 
I could be wrong that all of a sudden Apple starts changing its philosophy with different CEOs. It's extremely sad um, that Steve Jobs is not alive to, <laughs> let's just say, he got, you know, hypothetically got kicked out again, like in the Macintosh, or, or takes an absence of the league for many years, and they can come back and we can see the contrast of what he would do and come back to Apple many years later, and what the interim CEOs did. Because at this point, we don't have that. Anymore. We don't have a, a peg of comparison to say. Well, and, and see, I. I I had I, I when I when I when I was seeing all the notes and blogs from Cook's keynote la, the last keynote Cook give I was like okay he doesn't have the finesse but now that we know in retrospect okay he just found out Steve Jobs died there's no way in hell he gave his a, a game that day so the reality is we can't really judge Cook's and oh. Cook's ability to keep that going until after the next keynote we we can't. Sure. But because sure. the, 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 there were mitigating circumstances, that I'll give the benefit of the doubt that one. Right. Next one's going to really set the tone. Yeah. That's <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I, I, I certainly know quite a few, I know lots of people that are extremely uh, pleased with their Apple products. And I know a lot, well, I would say I probably know more people that are former iPhone owners uh, that are becoming an Android. Uh, Fans. But it doesn't mean that those that I do know that really love their iPhones are, are diminishing in any uh, aspect. They, they, you know, Apple will have a consumer base. It's, I'm not. This is not the same as the desktop wars at all. And and Apple. The one thing I think that Apple has over everybody, uh, which I don't put a whole lot of weight and priority in, is. Uh, the, the the touch rendering response of their of their phones um, versus others, but to me the, the touch rendering response nanoseconds, you know, fractions of a second, to me uh, is it, it is not a price I will pay for loss of use and frustration and navigation. You know, all the well, and this is one of the see, reasons. That's what, uh, uh, what, other what, shows that we've done. What you're getting into there is one of the reasons there's a growing number of people who want to see a true Linux offering in mobile because part of the reason Android has the less responsiveness is because it's a Java environment running. So you have that inefficiency layer there. So it cannot be as, it's not pure. Let's, let's kind of be clear. Let's kind of be clear. I don't want to call that inefficiency because then we're giving into the argument that we should be the nanosecond response of Apple. No. Because what does that Android sacrifice in that Java allows them to adapt and acquire features that will work with it at a programming level far better than, it, than Apple came with Objective-C. With, with objective they have to acquire the company, port it over, Make it, you know, work. It, 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 that's where Android differs. See, like Android, while it does start making native things native, is not as stringent as Apple. People used to be able to get Siri before Apple purchased it. Siri oh no, no, no! I, I agree wholeheartedly with this. I know what you're meaning. The the, the trade is too high, it, but that that's what I was getting at. There's people who would like to be able to get the best of both worlds. You know, yeah. get get a get a get a purely native no layer because I mean the reality is you could do a lot with C and C plus plus. Right. And, and there's not there's not a pretty system big thing to it. I think BlackBerry has the best chance to get as responsive as Apple. WebOS won't because WebOS also has the same kind of philosophy in terms of programming and what it can speak to in its simplicity of its layers. Although if my pre two I'm so glad that I, I won't get to the web section later, but I, I can't tell you how happy I was in changing my mind when we were discussing the last and sticking with web Well, and, and on that, I'm I'm honestly thinking that may become less of an issue in the next few runs of these things, because one of the things that causes that lag to really be felt is the lack of RAM in these things. And the reality is, as the processors it, it double... Differently, the, the way that, that things are rendered to the screen in iOS are very different than iOS. And, and yeah. Android. But but um, it, it, it's not that I mean, 
you can notice it, but it is not a... I'm not speaking of a lag where I'm on a desktop and I hit a link and then all of a sudden it, it, it's kind of like that. No, I, I, to be perfectly honest... I'm not talking about that kind of lag. It's no, almost no, like, I, I, I know, and actually you pointed this out in your review video on the BlackBerry thing. The most yeah. noticeable lag isn't actually the lag. It's when through either inefficiencies in multitasking or a lack of multitasking, while you're waiting for something to get done, you're not allowed to intercept and do other things. Mm, and, right. and, and, and with Twin X, you can. Blackberry, you yeah, can. Yeah, the more multitasking you have, the more you can do that. It's something we really take for granted, you, that uh, on modern computing desktop side, we don't have to wait for an incomplete task to complete to stop it and start a new one. And it's, it's, it's multitasking that lets you do that. Exactly. And, and the thing of it is is that, is that um, iOS, I want to say, is almost too hyper. It is so hyper to the touch that, 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 that that's what I'm talking about. The lag that we're discussing is not, I don't want to equate it to something where something takes a brain fart to process. I'm saying that it is just not as intense and as hyper as iOS is in its response to what you're doing. It, it, it doesn't mean that the operating system is having a hard time. It's, it's just that when I use my wife's iPhone 4, I, I, almost, I almost go, holy crap! You know, it's like, it's too much for me. It's like, I'm moving, I'm moving and it's like, I, I, I went too far. It's like, whoa! It's like, it's like this excited child. I know exactly what you're talking about because when you get those hypersensitive mouses, you move them like a millimeter and your mouse goes to the corner. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I feel iOS is. It, and it, sometimes it frustrates me. Okay. Uh, 